the roads would be awfully dark at night without streetlights. Yet most streets around the world are lit by fixtures that not only light up the road, but light up much of the night sky as well. All the while wasting millions of dollars in electricity. LED roadway lighting in Amherst, Nova Scotia is aiming to change all that by developing the latest in LED streetlight technology. Like many global companies, LED Roadway relies on a global supply chain for everything from small components to aluminum light casings, using local suppliers when possible. Receiving such a large and diverse number of components requires a rigid system of inventory, inspection, and management. First, all items are received and checked by hand to ensure that the order is correct. Once the order has been verified, each item is entered into inventory. Items are then labeled and stored for future use. Two of the most important components of an LED roadway fixture are the driver or power supply and the LED light engine, both of which are assembled in Amherst. For both components, pre-cut circuit boards are populated with electronic components or LEDs depending on the part being assembled. Circuit boards are populated in one of two ways, either with a computerized pick and place machine or by hand, depending on the size of the components. The pick and place machine places and solders small components, including LEDs, to pre-made circuit boards. Each circuit board requires a pre-built metal stencil. that allows the machine to place soldering paste only on the areas that will have components attached. Once the paste has been applied, the circuit board moves to one of the pick-and-place machines. This machine quickly removes predetermined components from a plastic reel. And places them in the required location on the circuit board. This particular board being populated with LEDs is for the satellite series of fixtures. However, the machine can also handle far more complex items. Once the circuit board has been populated, it moves to one of many quality control stations. Here, a worker quickly checks the board, then sends it into an oven. The oven heats the solder that will permanently bond the components to the circuit board. Once heated and then cooled, the circuit board is tested to ensure that everything works correctly. It's then placed on a rack, ready for installation or further work. Due to their modular toolless design, the light engines for the NXT series of light fixtures require a lens system that is permanently attached to the LED light engine. This allows for a more integrated component that can be replaced or upgraded with ease. The circuit boards for the drivers are also run through the pick-and-place machine as a connected series of two. However, this circuit board also requires larger components that are placed on the board by hand. Once fully assembled, the boards are quality checked. Once checked, a worker places the boards on a wave soldering machine that passes the bottom of the circuit board through a wave of hot, lead-free solder. The solder permanently attaches the components to the circuit board. Once complete, a worker breaks the boards into two separate units. 
They are then once again quality checked to ensure all the parts are soldered correctly. Finally, a worker installs the circuit board into a protective case, wires it for final installation, and tests it in a light fixture to ensure everything works to specifications. LED roadway lighting currently makes two families of lighting fixtures in multiple sizes. The original satellite series that uses longer light engines and the new NXT series. The NXT series requires no tools to replace or upgrade the light engine or power supply and utilizes new state-of-the-art LEDs and light engines. The final stage of construction is the final assembly of the light fixture. Each NXT fixture is hand assembled, starting with the pre-built aluminum casting. First, a worker installs a number of required labels on the casting. Next, a wire harness, the group of wires that will be used to run electricity to the various components, is fed through the top of the casing and attached at various locations. One end of the wire harness holds the receptacle. Similar to an electrical receptacle, this can hold a variety of modules, such as a photovoltaic cell that turns the fixture on as the sun goes down, or control nodes, which allow for dimming or other features. The driver, or power supply, controls the electrical current flowing into the light fixture. The light engine is next. Designed to be easily upgraded in the future, the light engine holds the LEDs and provides the light. Next, the surge module is installed. The surge module protects the entire fixture from damaging surges of electricity. Finally, the fitter is attached. This is where the light fixture attaches to the utility pole. Once the entire fixture is assembled, it's once again tested thoroughly to ensure it meets LED roadway lighting stringent standards. And is then sent to shipping.